was mapping out the type of house I want. I was like, okay, I would like it to have a pool. I want, you know, a jacuzzi. I want a walk-in closet. I want this. We switch fonts. Which fonts, yummy? Which it's different. See the shoes that I rock is different. All the peas that I get is different. See the ladies that I'm with too different. Nowadays everything. Hey guys. How are you doing? If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Don't forget to like, eh? yeah, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Don't ask me where I've been. I've been chilling. I'm a student. Okay, I haven't been chilling. I've been working on my dissertation. I've been working on my deadlines. Yeah, so hate. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Anyway, how is everybody doing? Today, I'm going to be talking about house hunting in Nottingham. So, join me. If the video is long, sorry. If it's not long enough for you, sorry. <laughs> okay, so when I was in Nigeria, I think these glasses are now making me look unserious, so I'll take it off. Can you see me? Okay, so when I was in Nigeria, everybody kept saying, Oh, Yomi, have you sorted out your accommodation? Have you gotten a place to live in Nottingham? I was like, yeah, I don't think that's too much of a big deal. It's not just to go and find a place to live in, right? <sighs> that's what I thought. And then when I was in, you know, I was mapping out the type of house I want. I was like, okay, I would like it to have a pool. I want, you know, a jacuzzi. I want a walk-in closet. I want this. We switch fonts. We switch fonts, yummy. We switch fonts. I was like, yeah, I'm a big girl. I'm not, I'm not an undergraduate student, so I deserve a lush life, a luxurious life, a life of flanger and luxury and big girlism. Anywho, that's how the house hunting journey now started. Do let me tell you guys something. <laughs> I saw crazy. <laughs> I saw something. There's nothing my eyes did not see. So initially I was staying at Sheffield at my aunt and I loved it there but I was just like you know what it's about time I got my own place and started being grown up and making a, an attempt even though I'm such a petulant adult I would much rather be you know just on a bouncy castle or just chilling in the pool I, do, I divert I divert anyway the house hunting journey now started I don't even want to get into it but I'm just going to give you guys a few tips for your house hunting journey if you've decided to come to Nottingham the first one is that there are so many platforms to find accommodation from university your university if you're at um, Nottingham Trent University or University of Nottingham usually has like accommodation platforms so you can use that channel to get accommodation um, You can also check websites. There are different websites. There's Zoopla. There's right move. There's on the market. There's spare room I think I will link them if I remember I will link them. If I don't remember, I will not link them. Anyway, so you can check either of them for accommodation putting your specifications your budget and just look now after you know you've started looking around and you're talking to agents and all of that or landlords ask as many questions as you want don't be shy of asking questions like just ask 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 keep asking and everything because you're going to spend your money so you want to make sure that you're spending your money on something valuable ask about the heating ask about the electricity ask about the arrangement ask how many people are staying here because sometimes these adverts online can be this this deceptive next thing go in person a lot of them say oh you can do a virtual tour is a lie go in person see <laughs> <laughs> hey if i talk so i went i saw this nice place very lovely lush good looking everything was on point it was looking dapper so i was like oh, okay i think the 
this is the place for me this is where i'm going to set my tent cast my net this is the accommodation i deserve see mm -hmm. when i went there in person it was smelling it was like everywhere was smelling there were garbage beans everywhere the house itself was smelling it was cramped the stairway was like everywhere was smelling i said what is this i said what is this i said is this how my life has come to me yummy slay queen big girl i was as in like with the eye the eye even used to look at the agent i looked at the agent like she was like ah I was like, sorry, is there any other place we can see? She said, no, I don't think you like the other places. Mm? I don't think you like the other places. Okay, so I actually have a blog post on house hunting. So I can link it. If you don't want to listen to me talk, you can read the blog post or you can read both. Anyway, I'm just going to be reading from there. Another thing is define your negotiables and your non-negotiables. There are some things you're going to have to negotiate on and just be like, okay, whatever. Other things you're going to be like, no, 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 no. For me, proximity to the city center was very important because I wanted to be stepping in to have a great time to walk around. And, you know, when you're close to the city center, you're close to school, everything is more accessible. And um, I wanted somewhere with space. I wanted a big room. I didn't want to feel claustrophobic, so mm, the part they don't tell you about about summer is all the insects that are disturbing you. Yeah, so define your negotiables and your non-negotiables. Then Facebook is the secret sauce. I got my accommodation of Facebook because like there are communities online, there's accommodation for students online, there are, there are groups that you can join and just post oh hi this is my name this is what i'm looking for i got a lot of deals a lot of offers for exchanges people that didn't want to stay in their accommodation anymore and all of that so don't sleep on facebook uh hop on it jump on it ride on it don't sleep on facebook but also be very careful because on all these websites facebook everything they are scammers they are what they are scammers so you have to be very 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 careful so that you don't get defrauded um, yeah what else yeah I already mentioned you do your due diligence because don't be JJC in your house hunts journey because they are scammers they are liars they are dirty bitches who live a fake life and you don't want to be defrauded just because you're looking for accommodation then I also I spoke about impressing viewings or not. Then figure out your budget range and stick with it. Um, and if you check well enough, you'll find something suitable. Except your budget is just too too low. And you don't want to stay anywhere bad because you don't want to be pennywise found foolish. Um, study your contract very, very, very well. Look at all the hidden clauses, all the oh the weather changed look at all the hidden clauses look at everything check everything out you know don't just move in like a jjc check everything well then you don't want to be stuck in a long contract where you're in a mess so look at your contract well and then one major thing is bills inclusive look for places that the bills are inclusive so that you know that once you've paid your rent You've paid everything, so yeah, nobody's going to say, ah, the Wi-Fi, the water, the shoes, the ba mm -mm. you've paid your bills, you've paid your bills, bye, adios. What else? Um, check the crime rates in the area, ensure that it's a safe area and your properties will be safe to try and have conversations with your potential housemates so that... You don't just jump anywhere because oh it's within my budget it's cheap let me hop on it you know what i said about being penny wise and pound foolish then my final point and with this few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince and not confuse you panel of judges honorable uh, timekeeper um who else do you to greet that day Mr. President, Mrs. President, 
the final thing is to think about yourself think about what you want how do you thrive better do you thrive alone or do you thrive with people what's your religion what are your eating habits are you vegan are you non-vegan what's your sexuality are you queer are you hetero you know um does being people like being with people of the same race doesn't matter to you or it does not matter to you think about everything think about yourself because at the end of the day you're the person that's going to be living there so consider yourself too and just be open-minded you might not get everything you want may I not get my spa I didn't get my walk-in closet I didn't get my I didn't get a lot of the things I wanted but I leave my accommodation is nice I have a nice landlord so you know I'm chilling I'm cooling so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like leave a comment and subscribe because no comments no subscriptions no videos so if you want to keep seeing yummy keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting see you bye